Welcome back. Let's take a look at the agro commodities where we have seen the decline coming in for the edible oil space, but there is some bit of a support now in case of chana prices. Some stability also coming in for guar seed. Not so much marginal gains there, though we have seen very sharp declines in the recent many many days there. But one important trend to watch out for the agro space is that it has now been 10 days since the evening trade for some agriculture commodities has been in practice. The evening trade has improved the price correlation with international markets. Soy oil, for one, has been the most widely traded commodity, reflecting higher correlation in prices post the 5 p.m. trading. There has been good participation in the initial days of trade, and exchanges have seen gains up in the participation there. For more to get an idea on the same, let's get in Vijay Kumar, who is CB on NCDEX, and he joins us on a Mumbai phone line. Mr. Vijay Kumar, hi, welcome to the show. What's your sense been in the last ten days? How has been the uh, the whole idea of getting the evening trades going in case of agro commodities? Yeah, I think uh, Manisha, the uh, trading has been fairly well received by the uh, by the by the investing uh, uh, public. Uh, as well as uh, more importantly by the uh, value chain participants in the industry uh, one of the things that we have seen is uh, almost a 20% uh, increase in uh, volume uh, going up to maybe a 25% in some days so this is uh, just the beginning and i think more and more people are getting a sense of uh, uh, tracking international markets uh, and the uh, role that they have uh, in uh, the indian uh, markets as well so the linkage is now uh, fairly high and the people are making use of that linkage uh, for trading their uh, commodities commodities mr vijay kumar as you pointed out the volumes have gone up and the price uh, what's your sense on the price discovery really do you see more real time price being merged in the international markets with indian markets yeah absolutely see uh, prior to the uh, uh, availability of uh, trading during the night hours Uh, there was basically no way that our uh, markets could uh, could reflect any uh, international changes uh, either due to weather <clears throat> or due to a global supply demand uh, change uh, and therefore the indian markets would open uh, significantly lower or higher the next day and, th- and that would be the only time that uh, traders could uh, adjust uh, their position so people would have to take a hit or or uh, get affected by it and couldn't do anything about it today at least the active traders can uh, change their positions depending on any new news that comes in uh, and that is actually a very good uh, step forward well absolutely sugar and edible oil are, uh, edible oil are couple of uh, sectors which really have shown appreciation towards that as well but going forward mr vijay kumar what's your sense in participation do you see people getting used to it and are you looking at bigger participation now shifting to the evening session Yeah I think so I think uh, we it, uh, most of the time uh, participation is a function also of volatility uh, right now one is uh, seeing fairly quiet markets uh, uh, there's not uh, too much of uh, volatility uh, but uh, if the markets uh, uh, do uh, start moving because of changes uh, then certainly the participation will increase and i think uh, from a hedger's perspective maybe if uh, people have physical positions and they have uh, hedges on uh, for them it uh, doesn't really matter but uh, people who have uh, a directional trade uh, or a spread trade i think they would uh, certainly want to uh, make changes based on a moving market fair point mr vijay kumar will let you go at that so that is the exchange really reacting to what kind of volumes that they have witnessed in last 10 days on the evening sessions there vijay what is your sense you of course have been keeping an eye on the volumes what's your sense on the agri space manisha i would uh, as a trader welcome uh, uh, the extended trading hours uh, because uh, uh, like uh, mr vijay kumar also mentioned what we were witnessing in the absence of uh, an efficient price discovery mechanism due to extended hours what we were witnessing was a gap up or a gap down similar uh, uh, patterns are seen in the currency space because we shut our currency markets uh, uh, fairly early as compared to the international markets and you are uh, seeing a predominant gap up or gap down which uh, uh, results in a lot of uh, trading losses for the overnight traders sure enough uh, initially there will be uh, some amount of uh, hesitancy but uh, uh, my experience uh, in the indian uh, market specifically has been the traders are fairly malleable they are flexible and over a period of time uh, they adjust very well to the trading hours so my guess is there is only one way for the volumes to go and that is up which which agri commodity would you want to pick up on because we've seen very stable trades coming in today there's nothing that's showing you 2 to 3% of a move today